All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you were safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, and appreciate it. Take it one day at a time, y'all. Most definitely. Let us praise the Most High and thank Him for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek His face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. And let us thank the Lord for protecting us and guiding us coming in and going out, constantly looking out for us through the morning, through the afternoon, through the evening, through the night. Just guiding us through his grace, mercy, and favor, the outstretched arm of God, and the mighty hand of God, the finger of God. Just countless of things the Lord has done for us and continues to keep doing for us. Amen. We just thank him for his word. His only begotten son died for our sins. Just getting us through so much situation in our lifetime and constantly still doing it because his mercy endures forever. He always keeps his promises. He always protects his people. So always thank him, rejoice, always rejoice, and just thank him for everything, people. Praise the most high, y'all. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always encourage each other in the Lord, uplift each other in Christ. Let us always have that prayer, comfort, and support for one another. And let us always stay together, people. No matter how scattered we are, we are still here. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel, scattered all four corners of the earth, all ends of the earth. Much love to the church. Much love to all the martyrs out there, the brave, courageous people for the faith. And much love to all the great tribulation saints and all the engrafted Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds, everywhere all over the earth. Much love to all of you out there. And if there's anybody in there who just gave life to Christ, who just gave life to the Messiah, who just got baptized or whatever, God bless you too. Much love to all of you. And anybody, anybody thinking about it, just do it, y'all. Get baptized and repent and start your life over. Amen. Praise the most high. I love you all, man. Let us always encourage each other. Let us always intercede for each other, man, because all of our situations and tests are different, but we the most we know that the most high is with us. Our brothers and sisters of the faith are going through it too, and we're all here for each other, amen? Most definitely, y'all. Welcome, everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of earth, all kindreds. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord, all the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, all the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let everything as breath praise the most high, y'all, most definitely. Let all of his creation praise him forever, most definitely, y'all. Rejoice, always rejoice, people, most definitely. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted and grafted in, it is all right. Let's get together, praise the most high. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stop our feet, praise him, y'all. Play an instrument, make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound. Rejoice, always rejoice, always worship the spirit of truth and serve him with gladness and joy, people. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Love your neighbors as you love yourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He is coming back like a thief in the night. He is coming in a twinkling of an eye. He is coming back for a people who are spotless, blameless, ready to go. So let's be washed up by the water through the word, washed up by the water by the word. And he is coming back for people at a, at an hour nobody knows but the Father, y'all. So let's keep our lamps and our oils. Let's stay ready, alert, watchful, all right? Be the wise virgin. Don't be the foolish virgin, okay? Let's keep our lamps and our oils, people. Let's keep the commandments. Keep staying faithful to the end because he who endures to the end shall be saved, all right? Keep spreading the gospel, keep the commandments, keep everything with you, y'all. Keep handling your purpose for the most high, amen. Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us more often in dreams and visions and encounters. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God, he will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, such commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. And anything the most high told us personally according to our life, our purpose, our calling, our future, our gifts, our situation. Honor that, amen, and handle that. Do your part, people. The Most High is faithful even when we're unfaithful. The Most High is amazing and excellent even when we're not at our best. So he's just that great. He's always doing his part and going above and beyond for all of us with that outstretched arm, amen. So let us be more disciplined. Let us be more obedient. And let us have more accountability. Let's be more sharp and more on point. And let's be better and 
be more reasonable, amen. Let's make better choices and be more sound with everything we're doing from now on, amen. So got to stay strong and hang in there, people, amen. Most definitely, y'all. So hope that you all being all right and taking it one day at a time, okay? So what we're going to do in today's message, we will go through today's Bible reading. We'll go through the recommended reading scriptures. We will go through the commentary. And then from there, we will close out with a prayer. We will close out with a priestly blessing. And we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. Today's Bible reading is the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 18, verses 1 through 34. All right, so let's go through with that, all right? Here we go. Micaiah prophesies against Ahab. Now Jehoshaphat had great wealth and honor, and he allied himself with Ahab by marriage. Some years later, he went down to visit Ahab in Samaria. Ahab slaughtered many sheep and cattle for him and the people with him and urged him to attack Ramoth Galid. Ahab, king of Israel, asked Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, will you go with me against Ramoth Galid? Jehoshaphat replied, I am as you are and my people as your people. We will join you in the war. But Jehoshaphat also said to the king of Israel, first seek the counsel of the Lord. So the king of Israel brought together the prophets, 400 men, and asked them, Shall we go to war against Ramoth Galid, or shall I refrain? Go, they answered, for God will give it into the king's hands. But Jehoshaphat asked, Is there not a prophet of the Lord here whom we can acquire of? The king of Israel answered Jehoshaphat, There is still one man through whom we can inquire of the Lord, but I hate him because he never prophesies anything good about me, but always bad. He is Micaiah, the son of Imlah. The king should not say that, Jehoshaphat replied. So the king of Israel called one of his officials and said, Bring Micaiah, son of Imlah, at once. Dressed in their royal robes, the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, were sitting on their thrones at the threshing floor by the entrance to the gate of Samaria, with all the prophets prophesying before them. Now Zedekiah, son of Kenea, had made, had made iron horns, and he declared, This is what the Lord says. With these, you will gore the Armians until they are destroyed. All the other prophets were prophesizing the same thing. Attack Ramoth Galid and be victorious, they said, for the Lord will give it into the king's hands. The messenger who had gone to, sum to summon Micaiah said to him, look as one man, the other prophets are predicting success for the king. Let your word agree with theirs and speak favorably. But Micaiah said, as surely as the Lord lives, I can tell him only what my God says. When he arrived, the king asked him, Micaiah, shall we go to war against Ramoth Galid or shall I refrain? Attack and be victorious, he answered, for they will be given into your hand. The king said to him, how many times must I make you swear to tell me nothing but the truth in the name of the Lord? Then Micaiah answered, I saw all Israel scattered on the hills like sheep without a shepherd. And the Lord said, these people have no master. Let each one go home in peace. The king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, didn't I tell you that he never prophesied anything good about me, but only bad? Micaiah continued, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne with all the host of heaven standing on his right and on his left. And the Lord said, who will entice Ahab, king of Israel, to attacking Ramoth Galit and going to his death there? One suggested this and another that. Finally, a spirit came forward, stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. By what means the Lord asked, I will go and be a lying spirit in the mouths of all his prophets, he said. You will succeed in enticing him, said the Lord. Go and do it. So now the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouths of these prophets of yours. The Lord has decreed has decreed disaster for you. Then Zedekiah, son of Kenea, went up and slapped Micaiah in the face. Which way did the spirit from the Lord go when he went from one went from me to speak to you? He asked. Micaiah replied, you will find out on the day you go to hide in an inner room. Hmm. The king of Israel then ordered, take Micaiah and send him back to Ammon, the ruler of the city, and to Joash, the king's son, and say, this is what the king says. Put this fellow in prison and give him nothing but bread and water until I return safely. Micaiah declared, if you ever return safely, the Lord has not spoken through me. Then he added, mark my words, all you people. Ahab killed at Ramoth Galid. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, went up to Ramoth Galid. The king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, I will enter the battle in disguise, but you wear your royal robes. 
So the king of Israel disguised himself and went into battle. Now the king of Aram had ordered his chariot commanders, do not fight with anyone, small or great, except the king of Israel. When the chariot commanders saw Jehoshaphat, they thought, this is the king of Israel. So they turned to attack him, but Jehoshaphat cried out, and the Lord helped them. God drew them away from him. For when the chariot commanders saw that he was not the king of Israel, they stopped pursuing him. But someone drew his bow at random and hit the king of Israel between the sections of his armor. The king told the chariot driver, wheel around and get me out of the fighting. I've been wounded. All day long, the battle raged and the king of Israel propped himself up in his chariot facing the Arameans until evening. Then at sunset, he died. Wow. Very interesting read right there in the book of Second Chronicles chapter 18 in its whole entirety. All right. That's a very interesting read. So here the true prophet Micaiah prophesies against Je, prophesies, prophesies against Ahab, you know, because Ahab was very stubborn, hard headed, didn't listen to nobody. And y'all know how he how he was, you know what I'm saying? And um you know, the Most High gave us law, such commandments for all peoples of different positions, whether you was a king, a priest, a high priest, a prophet, man of valor, um, a farmer. He, the Most High gave law to all of us, you know what I'm saying? So the Most High the Word doesn't leave nobody out. And God told us and instructed us how to do things according to our position and responsibility given to us. And as you can see, um, a lot of times with the kingship of Israel, most of the kings of Israel were not, uh, they were, of course, wicked and rebellious, but also they were very stubborn and hard headed. You couldn't really tell them nothing. They always wanted to handle matters to their own head instead of letting the Lord handle it for them. You know, the way we won our battles was by staying obedient to the law, statute, commandments. That was our victory in itself. When we stick to the most high, we would prosper, prevail, and flourish in all those things. But whenever Israel disobeyed, Israel never won their wars. So it just always shows how much we need God's word, how we need God's guidance and God's um, wisdom and strong hand in all of our lives. But obviously these men were prideful and arrogant, so they never listened. So... Um, as you see, you have Jehoshaphat, who's the king of Judah, and then you have Ahab, who's the king of Israel. All right, they were there together. They used to break bread and chop it up, hang out or whatnot, share resources and all that stuff. And then, you know, Jehoshaphat is just like, yo, man, you need to seek the Lord first before you do that. So Jehoshaphat was in the right. You know, he was just like, hey, man, you need to seek the most high before you just jump out, do something, you know, whimsical or irrational. But Ahab wasn't trying to hear all that, especially not the true word of God or a true prophet. So they were just listening to basically prophets, like false prophets or those who just say what they wanted to hear. They never really had a true prophet inquiring of the Most High directly. You see what I'm saying? And um, the prophets also was dealing with the lying spirits that were sent out upon them. So you see this whole situation play out in a very a wild way, just from beginning to end, you know. And there's always so much lessons you could get out of reading the word. And this is just always a reminder of how being stubborn will really hurt you and not really seeking the most high in the type of positions it puts us in. It can, it, it, this, this, this lesson basically shows us like when we don't listen to God's word, we die, people could die from it, man, just for not obeying God's word, like just off of pride and arrogance and all that. So got to be very careful how we handle the most high's word and how we do it. You know what I'm saying? And furthermore, in this second Chronicles chapter 18 reading, um, you know, all the, all the prophets are just saying like, yeah, go out to war, go out to war. But the Micaiah, Micaiah told everybody just go back home. Everybody just stay home. And then even through that, um, Micaiah got slapped for that. He the only one who really inquired of the Lord and actually was a true prophet in the midst of them and telling them to stay home and to not go out and do all that. But obviously they didn't listen. So we just see how that all you know turned out and played out. And Micaiah was able to have visions and able to see the most high in his throne and um, things like that, you know, and furthermore, um, the most high allowed this whole situation to play out the way it did and everything came to pass, you know. So when Micaiah really prophesied and really told him the word of the Lord, obviously the king of Israel, Ahab, got really mad and angry about it and what have you. And he ended up sending um, Micaiah to prison for that, <laughs> you know, and just tell him to only feed him water and bread and you know, mistreated him. And Zedekiah slapped Micaiah for that too. So this just shows you how prophets got mistreated because in the Torah, it's actually a commandment to not test the prophet or to not disrespect a prophet and mistreat them or to not uh, turn them away. But obviously the kingship of Israel at the time, they're very arrogant, harsh people. So 
prophets were always getting ridiculed, mocked, not even just from Gentiles and other nations in general, but just by their own people. So you always saw the division of Israel within the kingship, the prophets, different people's positions, because people who were kings felt like they didn't have to listen to God's word. They, they felt like they didn't have to do what the Lord said. But as happens when people get you know, big headed or a status or what have you, they just get rebellious and reckless and start taking it out on people in a violent, harsh manner. You know, people abuse their power and all those um, things. So, and uh, Micaiah lets them know, like, hey, y'all ain't going to make it out alive, man. Y'all, y'all shouldn't have done that. And lo and behold, when Ahab went on on a battlefield, when he went to Ramoth Khalid, they lost, man. They died, you know. And it played out just the way the Most High said it would play out, you know. So there's so much lessons just within Second Chronicles chapter 18 alone. I mean, just whole, the whole scripture is always full of lessons, edification, things we could always learn to apply to our personal lives. But this is a very, very good read for today. Amen. So that is today's Bible reading, all right? So now what I would love to do is read the recommended reading scriptures, okay? So the first recommended reading scripture is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. All right, keep the commandments. My son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace they shall add to you. Do not let mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck and write them on a tablet of your heart so that you find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to your navel and marrow to the bones. Honor the Lord with your substance and with the first fruits of all your increase, so that your barns will be filled with plenty, and that your wine presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, even as a father son of whom he delights in. Amen. Amen, amen. All right, all right. That right there. I love reading Proverbs 3 so much, man. I love Psalm 23 and Proverbs so much. That's like really personal for me, but... um. I just love Proverbs 3 so much, man. You know, it's just like, you know, the Lord straightens us out. He really disciplines us. You know, he's like a, a, a tough parent. You know, he's tough on his children, but he loves us dearly. So it's a lot of times it's tough love and lessons to gain out of correction, trials and tribulations, hardships, tests, all those obstacles. You know, the most high wants better out of us, all right? The, the most high wants best out of us. He wants excellence out of us, amen? So we got to want it too with our actions and ways, amen? So that is the first recommended reading scripture. Now we will get to the second recommended reading scripture, okay? The second recommended reading scripture is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verses 10 through 11. They say to the seers, see no more visions, and to the prophets, give us no more visions of what is right. Tell us pleasant things, prophesy illusions. illusions. Leave this way, get off this path, and stop confronting us with the Holy One of Israel. Mm. That one definitely speaks to the situation right there, amen? Most definitely. That really puts it all in a nutshell right there. All right, so that is this recommended reading scripture of Isaiah chapter 30, verses 10 through 11. It just shows how much people hate the true word of the Most High, and people hate what they need to hear. All right, so now we will read the next recommended reading scripture, which is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 through 5. For the time will come when men will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. Mm. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. But you keep your head in all situations, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, discharge all the duties of your ministry. Amen. I meant make full proof of thy ministry. Make full proof of that ministry. Make full proof of thy ministry, you know, do the work of the evangelist, amen? Preach the word, people, amen? So that is the third recommended reading scripture for this commentary, okay? Amen, amen. So now we read the actual commentary itself, okay? All right, the title of this commentary is Bad News, Good News. A psychologist came home after a tough day at the office and said to his wife, Honey, I spent all day listening to one problem after another. Please don't tell me any more bad news. I just want to hear good things. His wife thought for a minute and replied, Okay, here's the good news. Two of our three children didn't break an arm today. <laughs> Israel's king Ahab didn't like bad news either. When he needed advice, he consulted his pet prophets, who would say what his itching ears wanted to hear. 
because the prophet Micaiah's news wasn't often good. He wasn't often consulted. King Jehoshaphat, Ahab's ally in the impending battle, saw through the thong of through, saw through the throng of false prophets. He requested that they quit fooling around and seek the advice of a prophet who would give an answer from God. Ahab couldn't deny that Micaiah was the man. The prophet first told the king to go ahead and fight, whereupon Ahab shouted at him to tell the whole truth. Was Micaiah initially being sarcastic, or was it that Ahab knew deep down that he was plotting a course of action that went against God's plan? Ahab knew that Micaiah spoke only what God directed, yet he still ignored that divine voice. This time it cost him his life. As for Micaiah, even though he was encouraged to say what the king wanted to hear, he chose to maintain his integrity and speak the truth, even in the face of a long prison sentence. Ahab demonstrates a stubborn attitude that is typical of many men. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. Darn it. We plan a course of action and follow through no matter what the consequences. Do you sometimes act like this? If so, wake up. A life lived contrary to God's plan will leave you endangered in every sense of the word. God's truth might be hard for us to accept, but it's always good for us to hear it. If what God's word declares isn't what we want to hear, we can choose to ignore it. But disregarding the truth doesn't make it go away. It's still the truth. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. Why was Ahab reluctant to consult Micaiah regarding God's will? Do you sometimes pick and choose advisors in the same way Ahab did? Can you remember hearing a message from scripture that made you uncomfortable? What was it? How does God want you to respond when the truth is difficult for you to hear? Amen, people. Got to hear it all. Okay, the Most High is going to show us the good, bad, and ugly. The Most High shows it all to us. We serve a God of truth. He gives us the spirit of truth. Amen. The Holy Spirit, the comforter, the counselor, and the Holy Spirit will, will always let us know the good, bad, and ugly through everything. The Holy Spirit reveals all things to us, shows us all things. Okay, so when you ask the Most High for wisdom, clarity, knowledge, understanding, or discernment, anything like that, do not be, you know, angry or dismayed on the things you see. All right. We always trust the Lord through it all, and we have to stick to the, stick to the truth and live by it. Amen. So that is the commentary. All right. Now, what I would love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High God of Shem. Praise the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High forevermore. The Messiah died, came back three days later. Amen. So his blood died for all of our sins and iniquities, our transgressions, all of that, y'all. So always praise the Most High. He is definitely the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Amen. The Most High is the same yesterday, forever. Amen. The Lord changed not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Praise the Most High forever, y'all. His son is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate, the almighty, true and living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessing only potent, the blessing only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd. The head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, the I am, who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King Eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest praise. Hosanna, son of David, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb. The Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, the commander, the life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is my portion, the Lord is my strength, the Lord is my rock, the Lord is holiness, praise the most high forevermore, the Lord is a sustainer, sufficient one, he is our redeemer, our healer, our provider, he definitely is our good refuge, our high tower, good fortress, he is our fortress, our good fortress, our refuge, he is all that people, is very amazing, excellent, our shield, our buckler, 
all of that, amen, our salvation, our strength, and everything, y'all. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, Yahai Yashai, Yeshua HaMashiach, Barakatha Shalom Shalom, Yeshua Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai Yashaya, Yahweh. Most definitely, he is the consuming fire. He is the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician who can heal all things. He is, th he is the carpenter who can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days. The rest on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touched and agree, y'all. Call on him. He'll show you great, mighty things, y'all. Search and seek him with all of your heart, and you will find him, people. Most definitely, he is rewarded to those who seek him diligently. So you have to have faith in him. Gotta have, you got to believe in him. Got to trust in him, people. Faith without works is dead. The just shall live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Your faith saved you. Your faith made you well. Your faith got you through every situation, amen. Your faith, favor, grace, mercy that's upon your life. You think the most high for that, amen, because for the rest of our life, we know that the outstretched arm of God is going to be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God is going to be in our lives forever. The finger of God is on our lives forever, y'all, most definitely. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Miracles, signs, wonders, healing, restoration, deliverance, all of that. Get what you need from the Father, y'all. Let him give you desires of your hearts, people. Cry out to the Lord. Pour, out, pour your heart out to him, man. Make sure you do his will, man, and let him... Ask your prayers, people. Prayer, prayers up, prayers up, prayers up. Hallelujah. Most definitely is excellent, is awesome, is all that, people. Praise the most high, y'all. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace. The prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrected life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah. Most definitely the word, the true word, y'all. We know that his word is purifying silver, just as David said in Psalms. And we know that every word of God is pure and false, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his words are double-edged swords, the book of Hebrews says, amen. We touch and agree, y'all. So in the midst of everything going on in your life, everything going on in the world, got to trust in the Lord, got to call on him, got to always seek him through it all. Let the Lord guide us forever, people. He's going to guide us through the good, bad, and ugly, through the highs and lows. The Lord is still with us because he is amazing and faithful, amen. Most definitely. So in the midst of your situation, always remind yourself how excellent the Messiah is and all the things he went through. Hallelujah. All authority from heaven and earth has been given to him. Every tongue shall confess who is every knee shall bow at him. Hallelujah. He's the name above all names. Most definitely, y'all. He's the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of all, abiding son, abolish of the enemy, abundant grace, abundant life, ancient of days, Adonai, advocate, Aleph and Tau, Alpha and Omega, altogether lovely, amen. Anchor of souls, angel of God, angel of his presence, angel of Jacob, angel of the Lord, anointed king, anointed one, anointed of the Holy Spirit anointed preacher, anointed witness, anointed of my head, another king, another priest, anthem of a new song, apple tree, appointed heir, appointed judge, appointed of God, appointed sacrifice, appointer of seasons, approved of God, ark of strength, arm of his strength, arm of redemption, arm of the Lord, armor of God, assurance of our hearts, a stonied one, Arthur and finisher of our faith, author of eternal salvation, arrow of conviction, Arthur of peace with God, Arthur of book of life, the author of the book of life, availing shield, availing buckler, availing shield and buckler, baby of Bethlehem, baby and child of promise, balm of Galeed, Banner of Israel, banner of love, baptizer, bear of the seven stars, beautiful and glorious branch, beauty of holiness, beauty of the Lord, beginning and ending, beginning of wisdom, beloved white and ruddy one, beloved of the father, beloved son, better than angels, blessed and glorious lamb, blessed and only potent, blessed and glorious name, blessed lamb of glory, blessed one, blessed rock, blessed of the children, branch, branch of righteousness, bread, bread of heaven, bread of God, bread of life, breastplate of our righteousness, bridegroom, bridegroom lamb. Bridegroom lamb, bright light of glory, brightness of his glory, brightness of the Lord, brightness of thy rising, bringer of good things, brother of James, buckler to the upright, buckler to all, builder and maker, builder of the church, 
bruised and afflicted of God, bruiser of Satan, captain of salvation, captain of the Lord's host, carpenter, carpenter, Jesus, carpenter, son, chief cornerstone, chief shepherd, chiefest among 10,000, child, Jesus, child of the Holy Spirit, chosen of God, chosen stone of God, Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus, the Lord, Christ of God, Christ, our life, Christ, our peace, Christ, the crucified, Christ, the king of Israel, Christ, the Lord, Christ, the rock, Christ, the son of David, Christ, the son of God, Christ, the son of the blessed, Christ, the first fruits, cloud of the Lord, cluster of the campfire, comfort of the mourners, Cuff, comforter of Zion, compassionate shepherd, consuming fire, confidence, conquering lamb, consecrated son, consolation of Israel, complete control of all, completer of the saints, con contradiction of sinners, counsel of the most high, covenant of the people, covenant of promise, convert from the storm, creator of Israel. Creator of the new heavens and earth, creator of principalities and powers, creator of earth, creator of the heavens, creator of visible and invisible things, creator of the winds, crown, crown of glory, crown of pure gold, darling, day's man, day spring from on high, day star, deliverer, defense, deliverer to Zion, deliverer of my soul, designer of the universe, desire of all nations, desire of our soul, desire of the bride, desire of the prophets and kings, desire of the righteous, desire of women, despised and rejected one, despised of the people, do of you, do unto Israel. Diadem of beauty, disallowed stone, door of faith, door of the sheep, dweller of the heavenlies, El Shaddai, enlarge of God, elect of the Lord, Elohim, enlarge of my heart, enlighten of my darkness, ensign, ensign for the nations, ensign of the people, enthroned priest, equal of God, establish of the ends of the earth, eternal Christ, eternal life, eternal word, Eucharist of our faith, everlasting God, everlasting King, everlasting name, everlasting priest, ever living intercessor, ever living one, ever merciful one, exalted and extolled servant. Exalted God of salvation, exalted lamb, exalted name, exceeding joy, our God, our sure reward, excellency of God, excellent, excellent and comely one, executor of judgment, executor of righteousness, expectation of David, express image, eye of the Lord, face of God, face of the Lord, fairer than children of man, faithful, faithful ambassador, faithful creator, faithful Lord, faithful and just forgiver, faithful witness, faithfulness, father of the fatherless, fellow, first and last, first begotten, first begotten from the dead, fire of Zion. Firstborn, firstborn among many brethren, firstborn from the dead, firstborn of every creature, firstborn son, first fruits of them that slept, the first love, excellence of God, foreordained eternally, forerunner, former of all things, former of Jacob and Israel, former of the light, fountain of Jacob, fountain of the house of David, framer of the worlds, free gift, friend, friend forever, friend of Abraham, friend of public and the sinners, fruit of the earth. Fruit of the womb, fullness of the Father, fullness of the Godhead, gardener of earth, gatherer of the winds, Gentiles trust, gift of God, giver of secrets and treasures of earth, giver of the good spirit, giver of the Holy Spirit, gladness of the nations, glorious arm, glorious honor of thy majesty, glorious Lord, glorious voice with us, glory of God's majesty, glory of Israel, glory of the Gentiles, God blessed forever, God manifest in flesh, God of David, God of great kindness, God of pardon and new life, God of righteousness and wrath, God of just run, God our savior, God with us, God is with us, good and upright, good Lord, good shepherd, good teacher, good man of the house, governor, governor of many nations, gracious God, gracious Lord, gracious and full of compassion, great counselor, great door, great God, great high priest, great king, great lord, great one, great peace, great prophet, great savior, great shepherd, great and amazing, excellent, awesome, wonderful God, greater than Abraham, greater than Isaac, greater than Jacob, greater than Jonah, greater than David, greater than Noah, greater than Solomon, greater than our hearts, greater and more perfect tabernacle, greatness of excellency. Greatness of might, greatness of strength, greatness of thy power, greatness of Zion, green tree, guarantor of our security, guarantor of the new covenant, guarantor of the tree of life, guide for us, hand of the Lord, hanged redeemer, harmless, hated one, hater of iniquity, head above all, head of all principality and powers, head of every man, head of the body, head of the corner, head of the church, head over all, head over things, healer, healer of broken hearts, healer of souls, healer of wounds, health of my countenance, hearer of prayer, help of his countenance, helper of the helpless, heir of all things, hidden God. God, hidden manna, high above all, high and lofty one, high God, high Lord, high priest of good things, high priest of our profession, high priest over house of God, high right hand, high tower of mine, higher than heavens, higher than kings, highest one, his brightness, his dear son, his excellent greatness, his holiness, his holy arm, his loving kindness, his mighty hand, his right hand, his son, Jesus Christ, his son, our Lord, holier than thou, holy and true, holy child, Jesus, holy Lord. 
Holy Lord God, Holy Name, Holy One, Holy One of Just, Holy One of God, Holy One of Israel, Holy One of Jacob, Holy One of Mount Paran, Holy Thing, Honorable Lamb of Glory, Honored Son, Hope in a Day of Evil, Hope of David, Hope of Eternal Life, Hope of Glory, Hope of His People Israel, Hope of Israel, Hope of Righteousness, Hope of the Promise. Hope of the promise, hope and joy of Abraham, hope and joy of Simeon, horn of David, horn of salvation, horn of the house of David. Hallelujah. I praise him forever. Horn of David, horn of salvation, horn of the house of David, horn of the house of Israel, horn of my salvation, Hosanna of the highest praise, Hosanna, son of David, house of defense, humble of the high minded, husband of Israel, husband of the bride. I am, I am that I am, that I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, image of the believers, image of the Father, image of the invisible God, Emmanuel, God is with us, immortal, incarnate God, infinite one, inheritor of all nations, inheritor of my mountains, intercessor of sinners, Jasper Sardin Stone, jealous God, Jesus, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Jesus Christ, our Savior, Jesus Christ, the righteous, Jesus of Galilee, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the crucified, Jesus, the grace and truth, Jesus, the king of the Jews, judge, judge among nations, judge of all the earth, judge of Israel, judge of quick and dead, judge of the fatherless, judge of widows, justified of the spirit. Justifier of the circumcision, justifier of the seed of Israel, just God, just Lord, just man, just one, just Savior, keeper of Israel, keeper of the covenant and mercy, keeper of the keys of hell and death, kindler of Tophet, king beautiful, king eternal, king forever, king of all the earth, king of glory, king of heaven, king of Israel, king of Jacob, king of kings and lord of lords, king of nations, king of peace, king of righteousness, king of saints, king of the Jews. King of truth, King of Zion, kinsman nearer than I, kinsman redeemer, Kodashem, holy one, Korban, sacrifices, lamb, lamb of God, lamb of Mount Zion, lamb of the 144,000 sealed Israelites of the 12 tribes of Israel, lamb of salvation, lamb of the great multitude, lamb of the 12 apostles, lamb slain from the foundation, lamb to the slaughter, lamb without spot and blemish, lamp, lamp of the feet, last Adam, leader, commander, life, life of man, lifted an exalted son, lifted up suffering symbol, lifted of my head, light and truth, light everlasting, light and darkness, light of heaven, light of Israel, light of life, light of men, light of the city, light of the Gentiles, light of the glorious gospel, light of the glory of God, light of the path, light of the world, light of thy countenance, lily among thorns, lily of the valley, Lion of the tribe of Judah, Lion of Zion, Living Bread, Living Redeemer, Living Savior, Living Stone, Long Suffering God, Lord and Christ, Lord and Shepherd, Most Definitely Lord from Heaven, Lord God of the Holy Prophets, Lord God of Mount Sinai, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord of Glory, Lord Messiah, Lord Most High, Lord Yahuwah, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai Yeshaya, Everlasting strength, Lord of a new covenant, Yeshua Hamashiach, Lord of all, Lord of David, Lord of glory, Lord of heaven and earth, Lord of hosts, Lord of kings, Lord of lords, Lord of peace, Lord of heaven's riches, Lord of the harvest, Lord of the Sabbath, Lord of the scriptures, Lord of the second advent, Lord of the whole earth, Lord our hope, Lord our judge, Lord our king, Lord our Lord, Lord our maker, Lord our righteousness, Lord our shield, Lord over all. Lord, the God of hosts, Lord, the judge, Lord, thy creator, Lord, thy redeemer, Lord, thy savior, lover of righteousness, magnified Lord, magnified name, magnified name, magnified Lord, most definitely majesty, maker of all things, maker of Israel, maker of morning darkness, maker of one new man, maker of peace, maker of the new way, maker of the path in the sea, man, Christ Jesus, man of God, man of sorrows, man of thy right hand, man of war, man of from heaven, marred one, married one, master in heaven, master of the house, master of the sea, mediator of a better covenant, mediator of the new covenant, mediator of the new testament, mediator between God and man, meek and lowly Jesus, merciful and faithful high priest, merciful God, messenger of the covenant, Messiah, Messiah the prince, mightier than the mighty waves, mightier than the noise of any waters, mighty and strong one, mighty arm, mighty God, mighty hand of God, mighty man, mighty one of Israel, mighty one of Jacob, mighty power, mighty savior, mighty strength, mighty wisdom, mind of the Lord, mind anointed, mind anointed, mind elect, mind holy one, minister of the circumcision, minister of the sanctuary, minister of the true tabernacle, most holy, most mighty, most upright, mystery of godliness, God works in mysterious ways, his ways is higher than our ways, his thoughts is higher than our thoughts, narrow gate, Nazarene, near Lord, obedient son, offspring of David, ointment poured, one, one and only sacrifice, one Lord, one shepherd, only rock, ordained lamp of the anointed, ordained lamp of the anointed, ordained of the Father, ordainer of the preachers, our King, our Lord, our Passover, our peace, our Sabbath, our sin offering, overcomer lamb, overcomer of the overcomers, overcomer of the principalities, overcomer of the world, overseer of the congregation. Overseer of the congregation, pattern of the believers, peacemaker, perfect peace, physician, great physician, excellent physician, wonderful physician, pierced Messiah, pierced one, pillar of fire, plant of renown, pleased of the Father. 
Hallelujah. Polished shaft, portion of Jacob, portion in the land of living, portion of mine inheritance, possessor of heaven and earth, potent, potter, power of God, powerful and rich lamb, praise of the children, praise of the saints, preacher of good things, preacher of righteousness, precious lamb, precious Lord, precious stone, preeminent one, preparer of heavenly places, preserver of men, preserver of saints, preserver of the word, preserver of the faithful, preserver of his creation, priest, priest forever of Melchizedek, prince of life, prince of princes, prince of the kings of the earth, prophet of his brethren, prophet from Nazareth of Galilee, prophet mighty deed and truth, propitiation for sins, propitiation of our faith, proverb to his people, pure one, quickening love, quickening spirit, quickening word, rabbi, rabbani, ransom for all, recompenser, reconciler of enemies, reconciler of things, earthly and heavenly things, redeemer and forgiver, redeemer of Abraham, redeemer of Israel, redeemer of souls, redeemer of the first testament, redeemer of Zion, redeemer the holy one, redeemer the lamb, redeemer the Lord of hosts, redemption, refiner and purifier, refuge for the oppressed, refuge for us, refuge from the storm, refuge in day of affliction, refuge in trouble, reigning lamb, reproach of men, rest for our souls, restore of Zion, reject the stone of builders, resurrection and judge, resurrection and the life, Revealer of secrets, revealer of counsels of the heart, revealer of the hidden mystery, revealer of the hidden things, reverend, rewarder of servants and prophets, righteous, righteous, a very faithful testimony, right hand of David, right hand of my righteousness, righteous branch, righteous God, righteous judge, righteous man, righteous one, righteous rock, righteous servant. Risen light, risen Lord, river of waters, rock higher than I, rock of Israel, rock of my refuge, rock of my salvation, rock of offense, rock of the church, rock of the wilderness, rock and fortress, rock our God, rock the Lord, rod and branch, rod of his mouth, rod of my anger, rod of my strength, rod of thine inheritance, root of David, rose of Sharon, ruler of Israel, ruler of the 24 elders, salvation of all nations, salvation of God, salvation of the daughters of Zion, Samaritan, good Samaritan, good neighbor, help the Samaritan woman. Same Lord over all, same stone of prophecy, same yesterday, today, forever, same word of eternity, sanctified and sent one, saving health, saving strength of his anointed, Savior, Savior Jesus, Savior of all, Savior of the body, Savior of the law, Savior of the world, scepter out of Israel, scorned one, searcher of hearts, second man, secret of thy presence. Seed of Abraham, promise, seed of Adam, humanity, seed of David, kingship, seed of God, deity, seed of Jacob, nationality, seed of Judah, tribe, seed of Shem, race, seed of woman, prophecy. I mean, we touch and agree. In the authority and power name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, new dreams, new visions, new song to sing, new attitude, new encounters, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, peace, love, comfort, joy, gladness, merry heart, enjoyment, cheerful countenance, cheerful heart. Hallelujah. Fruits of the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the most high forevermore, people. New attitude, new habits, new routines, new hobbies, new lifestyle, new everything for the most high. Become a new creature in Christ, y'all. Behold, the Lord's doing a new thing. Hallelujah. Praise the most high, y'all. Be born again of spirit and water. Let us humble ourselves like children and enter the kingdom of heaven. Let us be born again. Repent and get baptized. Holy Spirit baptism, water baptism. Let the Lord change our lives forevermore, people. Let's get on this narrow path and stay on this narrow path forevermore. Let's keep the most high first forever for the rest of our lives, people. Let us store up our treasures in heaven. Store up your treasures in heaven. Store up your treasures in heaven, people. Praise the Lord, y'all. Prayers that your name is written on the Lamb's Book of Life. Prayers that your name is written and recorded in heaven. Prayers that you sit at the table of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Prayers that you have the tree of life forever. Prayers that you have eternal life in a hundredfold. Prayers that you're in paradise with God forever. Prayers that you embrace the new heaven, the new earth, the new Jerusalem. Praise that you dwell in the temple of the Messiah and the Father forever. Praise that you have everlasting joy. Praise that you're a tree of life forever, y'all. Prayers that when it's all said and done, the Messiah looks at you and tells you, well done, good and faithful servant. When you when he was hungry, you fed him. When he was thirsty, you gave him a drink. When he was sick and in prison, you visited him. You checked on him. Hallelujah. Praise him, y'all. Praise the most high. Prayers that you get the crown of life, the crown of rejoicing, all the crowns in heaven. Prayers that you get the lamb, the, the, that, that, that you get the lamb forever. You in paradise with the lamb forever, y'all. Prayers that you have the palm branches and you in your white robes, you singing and you rejoicing. Prayers that all the mansions the Messiah and the Father promises that you obtain that. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the most high forevermore, people. We have to endure so much prior to that. We have to go through so much test trials and tribulations prior to that. So much prophecy to be fulfilled in these times that we're in, people. Let's stay strong and hang in there. Praise for all people, all social classes, all races of people, all tribes, all nations, all languages. Praise for everybody, all four corners of the earth. Prayers for all the elders. Prayers for all the middle-aged people, senior citizens. Prayers for those adults. Prayers for the men and women out there. Prayers for the children. Prayers for the teenagers. Prayers for the young adults. Prayers for everybody, man. Prayers to the 12 tribes of Israel. 
Most definitely, y'all. Levi's being refined and purified, as Malachi said, hallelujah. So the Most High is refined and purifying the tribes, hallelujah. Much love to the church out there. Much love to the churches out there. Anybody in the hospital, anybody dealing with some health conditions, prayers up, healing, prayers and healing, hallelujah. Prayers up for everybody out there who just gave life to the Messiah as well. Prayers for those who just got baptized. Prayers for those who just accepted the Messiah as their Savior. Prayers for those who are, are getting getting it together for the Lord. Y'all turning from their ways. Hallelujah. Praise, praise the most high forever, people. Much love to all the brave, courageous people out there who are in and out of prison for this gospel, getting harassed about this gospel, getting persecuted about this gospel. Anybody who just lost their job over the gospel, anybody who just lost something over a Bible verse, prayers for those people out there dealing with all types of persecutions and attacks out there. Prayers for the great tribulation of saints in the long run. Do not take the mark of the beast. Do not take the image. Do not worship the image of the beast. Do not take the mark of the beast. Do not renounce your faith. Do not denounce the faith, people. Do not let anybody take your crown, people. The Messiah is coming quickly, and he is coming to give rewards to those according to their deeds, people. So let the Messiah reward you abundantly, graciously, beautifully. Amen. Let's keep doing good works for the Messiah. Let's keep bearing fruit. Let's keep doing the great commission, spreading the gospel. Keep doing the Father's will. Keep the commandments. All that, people. Stay strong and hang in there. Prayers for all of you, man. The Messiah loves you all dearly. His blood, his blood cleaned up, cleaned up all your mess, all your sins, all your transgressions, all your iniquities, all, all, the, all the unrighteousness, all the filth. His blood cleaned it up. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's be sealed with the gospel. Let's be sealed by the Lord, sealed by the Holy Spirit, sealed by his word, just sealed. Protection is sealed. Wall of fire. Hedge around us. Prayers up for all of us out there, man. Prayers for all of us, man. I pray for you. You pray for me. We already know we're going to pray for each other forever, y'all. Hallelujah. The Most High is excellent, amazing. It's just too much to. It's just man. He's just so much, so so much to say how great He is. Amen. It's never too much to say how great He is. He's that awesome. Amen. And praise the Most High forevermore, y'all. His Son is excellent for dying for our sins. He is a seeking shepherd, the self-existent one, separate from sinners, the servant, servant of rulers, a servant of the Father, servant of the Lord, shade upon thy right hand. Shadow of a great rock, shadow of his hand, shadow of mine hand, shadow of the almighty, shadow of thy wings, shalom of God, shekinah, glory, shelter, shelter of his flock, shepherd of Israel, shepherd of souls, shepherd of the flock, shepherd of the little flock, shepherd of the other sheep, shepherd of the sheep, shepherd of tender compassion, shepherd lamb, shepherd of the valley, shield for me, shield of thy help, Shiloh, shorn lamb, sign spoken against, silent and meek lamb, sin bearer, sinless high priest, sinless one, sir, slayer of the enemy, Smitter of the nations, smitten judge of Israel, smitten rock of Horeb, smitten shepherd, smitten of God, son of man, sower of the word of God, spirit of Christ, song of drunkards, son from heaven, son of David, son of freedom, son of God, son of Joseph, son of man in heaven, son of man, the savior, son of Mary, son of peace, son of the father, son of the free woman. Son of the highest, son of the living God, son of truth, son over his house, spiritual drink, spiritual meat, spiritual rock, spoiler of the principalities, spokesman of the father, sprinkler of nations and kings, star out of Jacob's day, stiller of the raging sea, stone cut without hands, stone of Israel, stone of stumbling, stone of the builders rejected. The stone the builders rejected, the stranger and alien, strength and song, strength in time of trouble, strength of Israel, strength of my heart, strength of my life, strength of the children, strength of the Lord, strength to the needy, strength to the poor. Yes, yes, y'all. Stretched out arm, outstretched arm, outstretched arm, strong arm, strong habitation, strong hand, strong Lord, strong redeemer, strong power, strong rock, strong hold, strong tower, stumbling stone, son of righteousness, sure foundation, sure mercies of David, sure steadfast anchor, surety of a better testament, surety of David, sustainer, sufficient one, sword of thy excellency, tabernacle, tabernacle of God, teacher from God, teacher of David, teacher of my path, tempest of hail and destroying storm, temple, temple of the city, tender plant, Excellent, amazing, awesome, wonderful God, excellence of the kings, testament of prophecy, testator, testimony of the scriptures, that bread, that eternal life, that one from the beginning, that prophet, that rock, the creator, the everlasting arm, the excellent delight, the glorious honor of thy majesty, the glory of their strength, the grace of God, the highest, the just, the justification of life, the justification of many, the king, the Lord, my hiding place, the Lord, my helper and deliverer, the love of God, the man, the manifest life, the mercy of the most high, the mighty of Jacob, the rock of our salvation, the savior, the victory, the savior of upright hearts, the secret of the Lord, the son of the Lord God, the song of Moses, the sower, the straight gate, thine holy one, thresher of wheat and chaff, throne of God's holiness, thou Christ, tower of David. Tower and fortress, tower of salvation, trample of the young lion and dragon, treader of the angry waves, treader of the high places, treader of the lion and adder, treader of the winepress, thy glorious name, thy kindness and marvelous comfort, thy staff and comfort, thy praise, treasure of wisdom, tried stone, triumph Christ, triumph overcomer, triumph lamb. 
true and faithful witness, true and righteous judge, true bread from heaven, true God and eternal life, true light, true vine, truth, uncorrupted and glorified one, uncomprehendable light, undefiled, unknown God, unspeakable gift, upholder of all things, upholding right hand, valiant right hand, veiled to a new living way, very beautiful king, very Christ, very foundation of the church, very God of peace, very great, very high, very high priest, very high servant, very lovely song, very present hope, very pure word, victorious king and Lord, victorious Lord Jesus, victorious one, victory, vine, voice of great thunder, voice of many waters, voice of the almighty, voice of the Lord God, wall of fire, water of life, way, way everlasting, way of salvation, way of the just weight of the Lord, way to the holiest, weakness of God, well beloved of God, well beloved Son, white linen of the saints, white stone, wisdom, wisdom and knowledge, wisdom of the just, wise and strong lamb, witness, witness of the Father. Witness of truth, witness to the people, wonderful counselor, word, word made flesh, word of God, word of his power, word of life, word of righteousness, word of the Lord, worshipful Lord, worthy lamb of heaven, worthy Lord Jesus, worthy redeemer, worthy servant, wounded one in house of friends, wounded one for transgressors, yoke of peace and rest, young child, zeal of the Lord of hosts, zealous one, hallelujah, amen, praise the most high forevermore, y'all, he is excellent, amazing, all of that, y'all. So y'all stay strong and hang in there, amen. So that is the message for today, okay? So prayers up for all of you, all right? Now, what I would love to do as I close out is give all the, give y'all the priestly blessing on the way out, all right? So here we go. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Shalom. Amen. Selah. Barakathah. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace. Shalom.